And um, this is another aspect to when I render projects, I usually set up a lot, a bunch in a row to do. So I don't have to kind of babysit 3ds Max while I it finishes one, then I set up the other one. So I want them all to go in a row, although they have different settings. So the settings in this scene seem to be fine in this interior shot. So you can right click. And in, in the upper, in the display kind of quadrant, you see Save Scene State. You can click on that, and it has all these properties. And um, you can hit Control to select the rest of them. Um, so like you can select separate ones that you want to save. And when you render all of them in a row, you can call the scene state. You can say, OK, well, I want to use all the settings at this point in time for this render. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the top one, hold down Shift, select the bottom. And I'll select all of them in between. Um, so scene state name, you can just say interior and then hit Save. So now all the settings, all the exposure settings, the light settings, even the material settings are saved to the scene state. And we can call it back whenever we want, even if we change other settings. 